Greetings to you, mother. Greetings, my child. Peace be unto you. You're building another hut. Yes, mother. My hut is getting old. I need to build a new one. That is one thing I cherish about you. You know your responsibilities. I ought to, mother. I am the provider of everything I need. You seem to have learnt a lot on your own. Thank you, mother. It seems to me that the more you learn, the smarter you become. Yes, mother. And the smarter I get is the more I realize how much I have to learn. You're right. Life is all about learning. at me, mother. Is there anything you want to tell me? I have nothing to say. You keep a lot to yourself. Always want to keep me guessing. Why don't you tell me a little of what you know? Please. All right. I will tell you. Once upon a time, there was this little girl who was anxious to know what killed her father and that which killed her father killed her too. My child, go on with your job. You're welcome. So tell me, my love, what are those things the heart of my beautiful, betrothed princess desire mostly from me? Hmm. Well, my heart desires that you make a loving and wonderful husband. Of course, I'll do that. The plants were so green and beautiful. I was in the farm watering the plants. Then all of a sudden I saw a giant tree. The tree was so big that I was amazed. I stood there for long and was just looking at the tree. Father, can you read any meaning from me? My son, seeing green plants in the farm in your dream means a slowly progressing development in one's life. It could be that your life is yearning for self-development and personal growth. And if you are in the farm watering the plants that means 
that your hard work will take some time for it to realize its full potential. What about the huge tree? Uh, seeing a huge tree in your dream uh, means stability and uh, sustenance. You see, for many moons now, our community has suffered great turmoil. Many, many mysterious things have happened that even the, the chief priest cannot explain. You see, my son, all these things you're seeing in your dream could be what your heart is yearning for. But you don't know. A great future lies before you, my son. Don't let your dream die, my son. Did you hear me? Don't let your dream die. After several years of sexual matrimony, the gods have decided to bless us with the gift of a child. I feel a fulfilled man. I feel like I'm the happiest man on earth. Because finally, we are going to have a son who will carry on the royal legacy of this great family. Mm. <laughs> Your father is aging so fast. How prepared are you to be the next king of this land? My love, do you say prepared? I don't need to be prepared. The gods have already prepared me for my great destiny. All I await is the fulfillment of the destiny given to me by the gods. Hmm. It makes me feel great. Of course, my love. It should. Obviously, you're the one choosing to authenticate my destiny. Which means you are part of me. Am I right, my love? Maybe. <laughs> Greetings to you, mother. Greetings, my child. Ah, that's a big one. Thank you, mother. Actually, I killed it a moment ago. I was up on a tree when I saw it. Up on a tree? Yes, mother. And you were still able to hunt it? <laughs> That's impressive. Thank you, mother. That means you will have a good meal today. Yes, mother. Mm. And I hope you will join me. That's if it pleases your heart. Of course it does. It pleases my heart, mother. This is all I ever wanted, for you to be part of my life, but obviously you don't want it the same way. You always come to see me and then go away. British. <laughs> Push. 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 Again? Harder. Uh, push.
It's sacrilege that just happened. What is the problem? The priest's wife had just given birth to me a pot of blood. Rush now! Go and tell them what has happened. My prince, you will soon become a father. <laughs> And I'll become a grandmother. Just like I'll be a grandfather. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait to carry my baby. Oh, I'm sure you're going to be a boy. Yeah, he is. Which is my king? Yes. Which is my queen? Yes. Which is my prince? Thank you. The wife I just given birth. Oh, great! I said it! God, we're just discussing here. Thank yes. you to the God. We give God. <laughs> my prince, well, unfortunately, she just gave birth to a pot of blood. What? What? A pot of blood? Pot of blood? What nonsense are you talking about? What is that? What do you mean that my wife gave birth to a pot of blood? My prince, you can come and see that yourself. Come, please. Let's go. Gods of our land, what have I done to deserve this? For several years, I have been waiting to hear the cry of my own child. And now that it pleases you to bless me with one, why have you allowed me to face this humiliation? Why would my wife give birth to a pot of blood? Because of our lack. Why? What have I done to face this sort of punishment? Why? Why me? Greetings to you. Greetings to you, my brother. How are you and your family? My brother, all is not well. All is not well at all. Have you heard about what has been happening in this our land? My brother, I never stopped wondering. I mean, it's just strange. Our crops no longer yield. Does it mean the soil of our land is losing fertility? The soil of our land losing fertility? It means starvation is falling upon our land. Please don't say that again, please. My brother, all is not well with our land. Did you hear of Prince Akubike's wife? Oh, my brother. I heard that she gave birth to a pot of blood. And what do you think about that? A woman giving birth to a pot of blood is an abomination. Let alone, we have to go. My brother, all is not well with our land. I'm telling you, like I'm confused. Ah, I hope the gods of our land will show us mercy. That's my prayer. That is my prayer. Ah. Uh, as you can see, it's raining. Let me be going before the, the rain. Okay, my brother. My brother. Take now. Care. Yeah. My regards to your family. No problem, my brother. Oh. 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 Oh.
Kenapa nak bunuh so? What are you guys doing here? You're not doing anything. Why is your face like this? I'm not saying anything. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. What happened? How do I even say this? How do I even say this? The princess just gave it to a pot of blood. This is why I don't want to tell her in the first place. Shout? Must you shout? Eh? This is an abomination. And this is an abomination. This is absurd. What are we going to do? How is this person? I don't know. How is it? I don't know. I don't know. The pot of blood. I don't know what happened. <sighs> this is tragedy. What could be the cause? What could be the cause? Elder Salami is a kingdom. Once again, I welcome you to the shrine of Odumeje and Obala. Why is that? Please, wise one, speak to us. Go ahead, Oku. Oh, 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 oh. Nothing by you. Nothing by you. <laughs> oh no. There is trouble in the land. Amazing kingdom. Is about to face great calamity. Is that what the gods said? Oh yeah, Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I consulted Odumeje and Obala, and they revealed pitch darkness on a deserted land. Pitch darkness befalling a deserted land. Mm -hmm. no. That's a bad omen. <laughs> oh, I recall. Eh? I exactly what I have been trying to say, Dugu. Exactly. There is trouble coming. So, what do we do, wise one? Does our land need some sort of cleansing? Didn't the gods? Say something like sacrifices or libations or whatever, wise one. Nothing. The gods have revealed nothing. But we can't continue like this, wise one. Something must be done to put an end to all this. Just look around our kingdom. Our farmlands are dying. The great Obana River that sustains our people is drying up at alarming rate. Look at our royal house. The wife of our next king gave birth to a pot of blood, which is not good. And we all know what that means. Please, wise one. Mm. My good people of Amaze Kingdom, I have heard you. I will keep on trying. Ozobi Way will never relent. I believe that the gods. We'll see something very soon. But if this fate that I foresee finally befalls this land, then the kingdom will suffer from an ordeal of immeasurable proportion. Hmm. Hmm.
A fearless woman. You taught me never to stray from my head. You said I should move and I should always advance. Go home and rest. You have toiled enough today. Father, our land is about to experience great ordeal, a huge tree falling in the dreamer. very important person in our land is imminent. Who could this important person be, Father? I don't know. There are many important people in our land we just have to Dress up for the worst. What is this? Fire. Oh, I'm not going to pay. No! 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 No
I'm a non pen well well and was sorry, sorry. Oh, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not I am not there, I am not but you see, 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 Okay, Mau, Adago. Okoji, a funiola, fuda. He came, man, amazing. Truly, a great man is no more. Why would the gods decide my father's fate this way? Take heart, my prince. For no one questions the decision of the gods. Hmm? My father was the king. Why would the beast of death visit him? Mm. What has my father done to die this way? What has he done wrong? Mm. I do not know. I do not know why, my brains. But the truth is that the bees of death visit whoever they want to visit at any time. We cannot question them. We have to accept it as justice. All we hope and pray for is that the royal family will accept our heartfelt sympathies. Hmm? However, I again have to men Allah. Tradition must be upheld. And it is the fundamental rule in Amaze Kingdom that once anybody is beaten to death by the bees of death. Such a person, man or woman, will not be buried in Amazing Kingdom. Therefore, I have authorized the undertakers to move the body of our late king, your father, to the mountain of the forbidden. That journey begins now therefore elders of amazing kingdom rise up so we can go send the king away from amazing kingdom finally the day of reckoning has come and the dreaded future will go away.
not again. Not again. Not again. Not again, woman. Not again. What is going on? What is happening in the palace? First, it was the princess giving birth to a pot of blood. And now, a strange bee killing the king. What is going on? Not just a strange bee. It must be spiritual. For a bee to kill the king of this kingdom, it must be spiritual. I think I, I, I am no longer comfortable here. I am no longer comfortable here. It's just to go to my father's compound. That's just wait, to, because wait, I don't wait, want to. What are you saying? Like, do you mean you leave this palace without getting a permission from the queen? But I cannot risk my life. You can't be serious. I'm out of this place. Me, I can't stay here. Ekukwekenengo is the wine. Is the wine, beloved wife of the gods. Mm. You have come to our land when it is undisputable that you do not come or visit at times like this. Why have you come, is the wine? You are here. Tell us why you have come. Have you come to console our grieving hearts? Have you come to mourn with us? Mm, or have you come to tell us that the passing of our once great king is good riddance? Mm, mm, tell us. Our people are facing turbulent times. There's so much calamity. Ezewanyi, we are facing gloom and despair. Speak to us. Speak to us. Speak to us, beloved wife of the gods. Hmm. Hmm. My good man. Greetings, father. Greetings to you. 
my good son. Genna. You're welcome. Thank you, Father. Bring this. Thank you, Father. It's been a long time. Yes, Father. I went to my maternal home, and you know it's a long journey. Yes. Uh, Father, you were right. We lost an important man. I heard about it. My good man. You saw it first. In all this land, you are the only person that saw it. And you are always seeing the future of our land. And that makes you a man of great potential. I don't think so, Father. Not when I don't have the wisdom to understand it. I only see it, but I'm helpless about it. The death of the king is so dishonoring. But Father, why would the bills of death visit him? Something is wrong, my son. The bees of death are the physical messengers of the gods. They symbolize something. I have never heard of them for ages now. They only visited once when I was a young boy. So, uh, what does it mean, Father? It means that uh, the king must have uh, gone out of his way wrongly or something. And as you may know, we are about to have another king. Let's watch what happens. We we take it from there. Um, um, Father, I brought you something. My good man. <laughs> They are always bringing gifts for me. <clears throat> My fellow elders, it is unfortunate that our king is late. His death fills our hearts with grief, especially the royal family. But we must understand that one way or the other, life I dealt us all a few blows. Faith always has a tragic story for every living man. But from my father, I learned that in every circumstances that seem to wear us down, the only option is a way forward. So today, we have gathered here to decide the future of our kingdom. Prince Akubike, I set our sympathy. May your father's soul rest in the bosom of our ancestors. Obviously, in a short time, 
you will be taking these responsibilities, these royal responsibilities which your father left behind. And we have gathered here to know how prepared you are to take the mantle. Um, well, my elders, I greet you once again. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Please. As you all know, the gods have already prepared me for this day. Wait a minute, my prince. I don't think you get what Ibekwe was driving out. We need you to remember how your father died. He was visited by mystical bees, which we all know what that means. We are curious to know how the tragedy makes you feel, knowing that you are going to be our next king. Uh, my elders, it is true that my, the way my father died was so scary and demoralizing, especially to me, the heir apparent to the throne. But the question here is, who else in this entire kingdom has the traditional right to become the king of this kingdom? Obviously no one. So whether scared or not, I am still going to become the king. So what I expect from you, my elders, is to start grooming me on how to become the next king. I mean, how I am going to lay my hands on the staff of honor. And you, you know, placing the crown on my head and pronounce me the next king of Amazi land. Well, I understand that misery loves around our kingdom. But I will not allow fear to weigh me down. Because the future of the entire people of Amaze Kingdom is now in my hands.
even eat at all, mother. I've not seen you eat before. Did you have a dream last night? Yes, mother. How did you know? What was it all about? Um, I journeyed to an unknown land and I found a boss in a cave. I opened it and I saw a staff in it. The staff was beautiful though. It is obvious the dream meant nothing to you. You are still ignorant of who you are. What do you mean, mother? Have you ever wondered why you are alone in this evil forest? What are you talking about, mother? Here is my home. I have been here all my life. Is there any other place that exists? There is a place you came from. And where is that, mother? It is called Ameze Kingdom. Long live Long the queen. queen. I hope you all remember what tomorrow is. Yes, yes Your Majesty. All the queens in all the neighboring communities are going to be having a very important meeting here tomorrow. It's a gathering of royalty. And yet, My ornaments and my garments are not ready. I wonder what you guys are doing here. Well, I'll give you up till today to finish up. Otherwise, I'm done with you. You. Your Majesty. What is wrong with you? Are you okay? Yes, Your Majesty. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, Your Majesty. I just hope you're not lying to me. I am not. I'm okay, Your Majesty. I'm all right. It's been like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just talked to him. Greetings to you, Father. Greetings to you, Mother. Greetings, son. My true son. Sir. You're welcome. Have a seat. You summoned me. Yeah, I actually summoned you. 
I just wanted to know about a little hint of you that is making me a bit curious. A little hint about what, Farah? Your mother here told me that you have been betrothed. Oh, that? Yeah, I was actually wondering why you see that's your mother that will know about this first. What is it? I just came to let you know that I'll be going home to see my mother. What is that? It's only your mother that can ask for your permission. Or are you the one desiring to go home? Please, Your Majesty. And this is very important to me. It, it has to do with the crazy festival that is approaching. Oh, well. I'm sorry to disappoint you. you better go back to your quarters. I'm coming there to see you right away and be prepared to tell me whatever it is that is disturbing you. Now go. Are you ready to talk to me now? Please forgive me, but I don't know how to say this. Stop talking now! I don't have all the time. Tell me what it is that is eating you up. Your, your Majesty, I have been defamed. What? It's unbelievable. How can you allow that to happen to you? It's not me. It's the prince. Can you lay such accusation on the prince? Do you realize what you are doing? Your Majesty, it's, it's not an accusation but the truth. The prince has been making passes at me but I refused. The other day he, he lured me into his quarters and he forced himself on me. And you think any right thinking human being will believe that? I am telling you the truth. I said shut up! Take you. You! Why didn't you bring that to my knowledge from the very beginning? Please, please. Shut up! Why didn't you let me know all this while I've been questioning you to find out what your problem was? Because you knew you were lying. <laughs> and you think anybody will believe you? Hey! You stupid, foolish, little evil! If you actually want to become a royalty, this is absolutely not the right step. So you better be careful what you say. Because nobody in this kingdom, nobody in his or her right thinking mind will believe you. And you know the consequences of such. Do not ever mention the name of my son in your mischief again. That boy, my son, is a man of great importance. He is the future king of this land. <laughs> I realize all that, Your Majesty. Oh, shut up! Go in there! Pack your things! And go back to your mother as you requested. <laughs> ah, listen, listen, listen! Mama, read my lips. I do not want to see your leg in this compound again. <laughs> Leave now! Go pack your things and leave. Anya! Who is that? Mama, it's me. Hey! Good and warm. Mama, help. Oh. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Fine, you're a mom, mom. Where are you coming back from? Huh? I hope all is well. <laughs> Everything is fine, Mama. I just say, let me come and be with you while I prepare for the quiz festival. Oh, mwah. 
Mwa, mwa. You always carry your mother at heart. Mama, I appreciate. Thank you. I appreciate. Mwa, bani mulo. Gosapa, come and help me in the kitchen. Greetings to you, mother. Greetings, son. I hope there's no problem. The maid who laid an accusation against you yesterday. That evil? What did she say about me? She said that we were making passes at her for some time now. And the other day, we lured her into your apartment and forced her on your bed. What? That wretched daughter of a pauper said that about me? Yes, she did. She said you defiled her. Broke her virginity. You know what that means, sir? Why would she be lying against you? The prince of this land. Is it possible? This is a lie, mother. I didn't do that. She's not even my type. Oh. Huh? Look at me, the prince of this land, who all the burdens of this land are ready to be with. I didn't do a thing like that. It's okay. Just be careful, son. Because you know what this kind of serious accusation we do on your honor. Not the kind of blow it will bring to you. Just be very careful, please. Okay, mother. Reaches to you. Be a good boy, okay? <laughs> Once upon a time, yes. a friend asked his friend, what is the true character of a man? And his friend said, the true character of a man is what the man does when he knows nobody is watching. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings to you, wise men of our land. Hey! Oh, please, you're oh. welcome. I could be the true son of his father. <laughs> Sit down, my friend. You're welcome. Sit down. You are welcome. <laughs> Do you know it's a little merry now? Never mind, Ochendo. I have more pressing issues now. More pressing issues? I hope all is well. All is not well. It's about that maid, Urene. The one I keep telling you about. Yes. What about her? She went and told my mother what I did to her. She told my mother that I forced her into my bed and defied her. <laughs> Ochendo, you know the consequences when you defile a maiden in this land. <laughs> that is when true justice is found in our land. The only justice in the land is those ones manipulated by few powerful men like myself. <laughs> Have you forgotten that I'm in charge in this case until it ends? <laughs> My friend, stop bothering yourself. <laughs> See, the only thing you do for me is keep denying the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Then you're going to be like Keep denying. Keep denying the truth. They can't do it. Oh, but then you're going to You're not going to deny it. Keep denying. Keep denying. Keep denying. Keep denying. Keep denying. Keep denying. Keep Look at this, my beauty queen. I've been looking for this girl. It's a very good opportunity. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Yes. Greetings, my beauty. My tomato juice. My pepper Pakistan. Popo puto cream. I've been looking for you all over the place. Hmm? I'm happy. Now, you are here and I'm here. 
You're welcome. I want you to come into my life. And I want you to come into your own life. Eh? If I come into your life, your life will change. Eh? The only Odogu in this community. Hi, Chief Akwogo Akwogo. Who is it? If you have to get a tag, you have to get a Okay, see, just name your price. Give me your condition. That is all. Eh? You see, things will change in your life. Okay, okay. Ha! Huh. You want to know what I want? Yes. You really want to know what I you want? Just mention it. Okay. I want you to get out of my sight. Huh? One, and never ever stop me again to spit this rubbish. Two, thank you. How can you say I should get out of your life? It's not possible. Eh? I want you to come into my life. This, I will change your life. Eh? It's like, you don't seem to understand me. I don't want you. I don't need you. I don't want anything from you. Is it too hard for you to understand? You're old enough to be my father. Look at me now. How can I even be, like, having an affair with you? It's not possible. Please, 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 stop this rubbish. Let it not repeat itself again. The next time you try to do this, I will not only insult you, I will spit on your face and I will let the whole village hear of this rubbish you are doing. Ah, uh -uh. what kind of embarrassment is Don't walk out of me. I'm coming back. Give me... Come on. I don't stand do. Totally different. It's not like the one we used to pound in the palace. <laughs> it's true, my daughter. You see, I noticed that the supply of this Inzu is drifting away. That is why I decided to join in myself to get this particular one. Mm. For you. Sorry, Mama. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mama. You're welcome. So, Mama, you have to do all that? Yes, because of you. Yes, you have been chosen as one of the maidens that will participate in this Equesi festival. Yes, that's why I want you to be happy. I want you to enjoy this festival. Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome. You. 
Urenne, mm-hmm. you know, since you came back, I've been observing that you are not happy. And I want you to tell me. I'm your mother. <laughs> Mama, I don't I look okay. I'm very fine. It's just that I'm... <laughs> I am nervous about this crazy festival of a thing. That's just it. Nervous? Why would you be nervous about the crazy festival? Why? Honestly, Mama, I don't know. I don't know why I'm nervous. But all I know is that I am nervous. I want you to be happy. I'm here for you. Hmm? I'm warm. <laughs> Ndi mada kwa wala Ndi mwa pota gopa nono wo Chie were ni chie Oro boda nugo Ndi njigeji Chie were ni chie Kisi mu kwa wa Kwa gana be mwo I know this life is something I don't really understand my tears are back, aka, ore, I fuck I know the sun will shine, the rain will wash my tears away. Hmm. He looks so good. Ndi mada kwa wala Ndi mwa pota gomba nono kwa Chie wele ni mwa Oro goda nuko Ndi mjigeji Chie wele ni mwa Kisi mwa wa Kwa gana bi mwa I know this life is something I don't really understand My tears are back, I get more rich, I fall on the wall I know the sun will shine, the rain will wash my tears I don't want to talk about my life, I don't want to talk about my life I don't want to talk about my life, I don't want to talk about my life Anya wu tu tu abo te ya langu mwa do ma Bia ki ho yo kwa Abo te ya langu mwa do ma Anya wu tu tu abo te ya langu mwa do ma Bia ki ho yo kwa Anya-woo-tu-tu-a-bote-a-lang-u-ma-do-ma-bia-ki-o-ro-kwa Abote ya langu mwa doma Anya wutu tu abote ya langu mwa doma Bia ki oro kwa Abote ya langu mwa doma Anya wutu tu abote ya langu mwa doma Bia ki oro kwa Abote ya langu mwa doma Anya wutu tu abote ya langu mwa doma Bia nu ki oro kwa Abote ya langu mwa doma Anya wutu tu abote ya langu mwa doma Biaki yo ro kwa Abote ya langu mwa doma Anya wutu tu abote ya langu mwa doma Biaki yo ro kwa Abote ya langu mwa doma 
Anya utu takote alangu mwadoma. Ya shi oro kwa. Abote alangu mwadoma. Anya utu takote alangu mwadoma. Ya shi oro kwa. Abote alangu mwadoma. Anya utu takote alangu mwadoma. Ya shi oro kwa. Abote alangu mwadoma. Anya utu takote alangu mwadoma. Ya shi oro kwa. Rubalo abote alangu mwadoma. Ya shi oro kwa. Abote alangu madoma Udu mejia meja abote alangu madoma Yaki oro kwa Abote alangu madoma Uke chia meja abote alangu madoma Yaki oro kwa Abote alangu madoma Ubala ameza abote alangu madoma Biaki horo kwa Abote alangu madoma Anya utu cha abote alangu madoma Biaki horo kwa Abote alangu madoma Anya utu tabote alangu madoma. Ya ki oro kwa. Abote alangu madoma. Anya utu tabote alangu madoma. Ya ki oro kwa. Today, your purity and innocence will be tested by the gods and men. Today, you shall move on into the arena of purity and touch the storm of innocence to prove that you are worthy to embark with me on the serious journey ahead. Today you will be united with the gods of purity. But remember, only the pure, only the innocent can touch the stump of innocence. Anything to the contrary will attract grave and dire consequences. Are you going to move to the door, ma? And you will choose to have a better language, ma, door, ma. You are going to have a better language. Abote alangu madoma 
Nupa la pote alangu madoma. Mi aki oro kwa. You shall go in. One after the other. And as a test of your purity. You are expected to touch. The stump of the God. May the gods judge you. About the Alangu Madama. I am what you talk about the Alangu Madama. The Aki or Rafa. About the Alangu Madama. I am what you talk about the Alangu Madama. The Aki or Rafa. About the Alangu Madama. Anya utu tabote alangu madoma. Biaki orokwa. Abote aru. Abote alangu madoma. Anya utu tabote alangu madoma. Biaki orokwa. Abote alangu madoma. Uba lama se abote alangu madoma. Diapi orokwa. Abote alangu madoma. Wondo beja be se abote alangu madoma. Diapi orokwa. Abote. Abote beja. Yeah. Come out. You dare subject this shrine to ridicule. <laughs> you knew you were unworthy, yet you had the guts to touch the stub of innocence. Both of you are pregnant. And you had your destiny to come into this shrine. The shrine of the great Ozobi Hmm. You shall face every consequence that this attracts. Son, father. The report came into this palace a moment ago. But a maiden was implicated while performing the crazy rituals. And that you are the one that uh, defiled her. Is that true? That is a lie, Father. I did no such thing to anyone. Uh, any maiden who links my name to such a ignorable act obviously has a hidden agenda. Son, you know I don't stand for injustice. And if you keep on denying this, you'll be taken to the chambers of justice to swear on your life. And you know the chamber of justice does not want lies. Yes. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready to do anything to clear my name from this. The prince, come forward. The prince, swear on your life before you go into the chamber. 
But remember, no one goes into the chamber of justice with unclean hands. If you go there with unclean hands, you will not come out alive. I swear before every one of you here that if truly I did that which I'm accused of, may I not come at our life as I proceed into this chamber of justice. <clears throat> tribulation upon yourself. Hmm. So at this juncture, the tradition must take its course. <laughs> God! <laughs> take her away. <laughs> We have come to the boundary of our maze and the evil forest. We have come to deliver one of our daughters, Urene, whose act of sacrilege has made her unworthy to be called our own. Today, we shall cast Urene into the evil forest. <laughs> Today, we renew our sacred oath to Umala, to Dumejiamezi, not to condone any evil, every offender of our cultural tradition. And promise all the Beke, who are the great God of Amazing, to care for us and to let us live 
to evil. Evil shall go. And for good men, good shall remain. Mama! 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 You shall foray into the evil forest. You shall continue to roam until evil finds you and devours you. For evil shall return to evil. And good shall remain with the good. Go! 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 Oh, 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 oh,